All right, guys. So we have uh, done a little bit introduction uh, regarding the listing and detail page. So now, before jumping into the tools and keyword research, uh, we should discuss about the Amazon guidelines. So stepwise, we'll be discussing about the Amazon listing standards regarding title and bullet points and description and images. So let's start. Okay, guys. So product detail page rules. Customers will first learn about your offers on your product detail page. The policies below ensures each product detail page cover uh, covers a single unique item, and this help give customers a clear and consistent buying experience. Okay, so you can go through this uh, link, and uh, you can see the Amazon all policies. It's like you will get a complete expert once you go through this link and you read out all the amazon policies so it's uh, something so much lengthy i cannot uh, cover that in the lecture so you can just visit this link and read it uh, so i will be discussing the main points so let's start uh, about the title guidelines so let's read out this first and we'll be explaining each of them uh, good title quality is a key factor for ensuring a positive customer experience on Amazon. Below are additional tips for improving the quality of your titles and we will only um, search suppress products with titles that violate one of our four requirements listed above but we strongly encourage adherence to the following title standards. Right. So this was something related to the above uh, link uh, I have discussed. So from here, these are uh, some of the policies and guidelines of Amazon that we need to follow while crafting a title. Okay, so title should be concise and we recommend fewer than 80 characters. It should not be lengthy. It's a title. Okay, so uh, the first uh, thing, the first uh, you can say so guys the first thing that uh, Amazon crawlers uh, used to crawl it in your listing its title so you should be really uh, caring about the title so do not use all caps okay you will not be using all capitals letter like uh, psychologically you might be thinking that I will use all of titles and uh, all of caps in the titles so it will be more attracting but it's against Amazon guidelines capitalize the first let letter of each word except for prepositions okay if there is a noun uh, you can say like uh, cutter so for the cutter you will just uh, capitalize the first C and uh, else the C other letters they will be small letters but you cannot capitalize the first letter of prepositions like in, on, over, with and for conjunctions like and or for or for articles like the, a, a, n. So you will not be capitalizing the letters or first letter of these words. Uh, you are allowed to capitalize the letter of nouns like cutter or pizza, peel. So for pizza, peel, p of pizza and p of peel. You will be capitalizing and making them cap. Okay, use numerals two instead of two. Okay, you shouldn't write T W O. You should be writing uh, a numerical word two, right? A digit. And do not use non language like A S C I I characters, uh, such as you can see here the example. Uh, these are not allowed in the titles. Okay, titles should contain the minimal uh, information needed to identify the item and nothing more. Okay, you will not be putting the details of any product in the title. You just need to put some of the words that uh, give an idea to the customer that what are you going to sell, right? Uh, do not use subjective commentaries such as hot item, bestseller, it's against Amazon policy and Amazon will suppress your listing. So be careful about such a kind of words. And titles can include necessary punctuation like hyphens and forward slash commas uh, and all these okay so uh, you can use these um, according to your need 
and titles can uh, abbreviate measurements such as cm oz and i n inches and kg so you can use these right and do not include your merchant name in the title uh, the 11 uh, rule is size and color variation should be included in title for child essence right so we'll be discussing about the child as an and parrot essence and all that stuff for now you need to know their size and color variations when you are going to launch a product and you are having variations and sizes in that uh, product so you need to include in the title uh, the colors and size variations uh, not the main title 